development goes through stages. And I'm asked if it should be difficult or if there should be pain. Should development be something like a fakir having to lie on nails or is there a place of suffering in development? And I think it's not like that. I think it's not the matter of suffering. And I'll try and give an analogy. You know, when a bird, a chick, is in the egg, it's not suffering. But if it stays there, it will die. So there is a point where this little chick starts breaking through to get into the next stage of its life. Because if it stays there, it will die. And if it gets out, there's a lot of new things it needs to learn. I don't know if you ever saw silkworms as a child, you know, eating mulberry leaves. And then there's the point where the butterfly needs to come out. And I remember as a child wanting to help this poor butterfly working so hard to get out. But the thing is, if you help them, you're basically killing them because they won't have wings. The thing about a butterfly, when it's coming, any butterfly, coming out of its pupa, it has to go through this tight, tight pressure, which is actually what causes the air to inflate their wings. And if not, the wings stay cringed. So definitely when we move from stage to stage, there are things we need to go through. I don't see it as a suffering. I see it more like the, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And I think it's inbuilt into our system, just like to a butterfly or to a chick, that we need to get out of the old and move into the new. And it might not be comfortable. It might demand things we didn't do before or we didn't like. But I don't think it's suffering. I think it's getting into new possibilities. It's understanding a new game where we don't yet know all the rules. And once we get into this bigger game or bigger world, we have so much more possibility. So in development, I mean, having new abilities, being able to see things you never saw before, having knowledge or intuition coming to you, suddenly being graced by intelligence you never had before. Not because somebody helped you and did it for you, but because you understood there's this whole world out there waiting and you want to grow into it. So if you are feeling it's difficult or if you are feeling things are crushing you, you know, maybe you're exactly at the point you should be and you should be going through this. Of course, each person needs to find out what works for them better. But sometimes these points where it gets difficult are exactly where you need to be to move on.